In this video, we're going to compare two document automation platform, Gavel versus Clio Draft, previously known as Loya. Clio Draft or Loya doesn't have any client facing features. This means that you're limited to an internal use. You're either a lawyer or a paralegal trying to generate legal documents. This also means that you're going to have to fill up the intake yourself in order to generate the documents. Gavel, on the other hand, has many client-facing features. You can share the workflow link with your client, which will allow them to access the intake and fill up their data themselves. You can also provide your client with an access to a client portal like this one and assign them specific workflows or intakes for them to fill up. When it comes to Clio Draft, the entire builder experience happens in a Word document template. This is not always super intuitive as you don't really get to see the intake as you're building it. In terms of customization, you also have less options in terms of the field types you can create, and you also don't have the options to create conditional logic over which questions appear in your intake or over which portions appear. This means that in the Clio Draft Intake platform, you will see all of those fields that you have created in your document all within the same page, and you will have very little control over the structure of your intake. On the Gavel side, however, you get to build your questionnaire yourself in the Intake Builder, which is incredibly intuitive as you get to structure your questionnaire in as many pages you want, and you get to decide the content of each one of those pages. In terms of customization, you also have a lot more different options in terms of question types you can use. In addition to that, you get to use conditional logic to decide which pages will appear in your workflow to your user or to decide which question will show up to them. The Gavel Intake Builder is highly intuitive and allows for maximum customization, which allows you to have full control over the intake experience of your user. When it comes to the document customization, Gavel has multiple additional features that you will definitely benefit from. So first, when it comes to formatting some specific types of variable, Gavel lets you choose the format of the output in your generated document, which is super useful, especially when it comes to number types of variable. You don't have the same ability to adjust the formatting of your fields on Clio Draft. Now, Gavel also has date calculation and numerical calculation features, which will upgrade your capabilities in terms of automation. You also don't have the same features on Clio Draft. Finally, when it comes to condition, Gavel lets you accumulate different conditions or create alternative conditions. While Clio Draft also has a condition feature, it's just not as powerful as the one that exists on Gavel, as you don't get to create a combination of multiple conditions on this side. One of Gavel's most powerful features compared to Clio Draft is the ability to create repeating items or looping lists or multiple iterations basically of an undefined number of items. This is useful when you want to collect the same set of data for each children or each beneficiary in estate planning or in corporate law for each shareholder or each share subscription. On the Gavel side, you can do this directly and a lot more quickly by simply inserting the repeating item and listing all of the attributes you want to show up in your document and then inserting that as a list or as a table or as a multi-line list. On the Clio Draft side, there's no direct way to do this, so I would have to create cards for each one of my hypothetical shareholders, which means I'm going to have to limit the amount of shareholders that can be entered. And in addition to that, I would have to go manually tag each one of those fields in my document, which takes a lot more time. Also, I risk having potential formatting issues on the Clio Draft side. If I don't have a shareholder three, for example, I would have sentences with empty fields and I would have empty line in my table. All of these features make a world of a difference when it comes to document automation because on Gavel, you're basically going to be able to generate a document that's pretty much good to go, whereas on Clio Draft, you're going to have to do several manual adjustments once the document is generated. Both platforms integrate with Clio, so on the Clio Draft side, you can automatically populate some fields using your Clio contacts, or on the Gavel side, you can do the same using your Clio contacts or Clio matter to auto-populate some fields in your document. Now, if you're not a Clio user, Gavel also lets you import data from a CSV data source, or if you're using another CRM or platform that's integrating with Zapier, then you can use the Gavel integration on Zapier to either import data into your Gavel intake or to export data from your Gavel intake into that external app. 